Today, let's learn about how the Civil Aviation Regulation Series C related to Air Operator Certification AOC. This lesson will outline and highlights about the key parts related to CAR Series C from Part 1 to 13. Before starting with the variants of the parts, let's understand the types of Air Operator Certificates. Air Operator Certificates can be classified in three types. Scheduled Air Transportation Services, Non-Scheduled Air Transportation Services and Cargo Operations. Scheduled Air Transportation Services for operators conducting scheduled domestic and international flights. Non-Scheduled Air Transport Services for charter services, private flights or even unscheduled operations. Cargo Operations for operators transporting goods instead of passengers. It follows 13 parts. Part 1 represents criteria for leasing of aircraft by Indian operators. Part 2 Minimum requirements for grant of air operator certificates to operate scheduled air transport services, especially for the passenger flights. Part 3 Minimum requirements grant of permit to operate non-scheduled air transport services. Part 4. Minimum requirements for grant of permit and operations of air transport cargo services. Part 7. Instructions for seating in passenger transport aircraft. Part 9. Minimum safety requirements for seaplane operations. Part 10. Minimum requirements for undertaking air operations with aircraft owned by state government or public sector undertakings of central or state governments. Whereas Part 5, 6, 8 and 11 are being revoked. Whereas Part 12 represents requirements for grant of air operator certificate for scheduled commuter air transport services. The last but not the least, Part 13 requirements for operation of foreign registered aircraft by Indian operators on dry lease basis. So, to know more about the detail of this, so stay tuned to Innova World for more further updates on aviation and aerospace. If you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and fly high.